Who would ever have thought that a stick, a ball, and a hole in the ground could have the potential to impact so many lives? Noted golf author Herb Graffis did, deeply cherishing that ideal, and now we honor those who continue his passion. We were pleasantly surprised the uh, first time that we received the award in 2012, and even more surprised that we were to win it for a second time in four years. We're a better foundation now because we focused on the right programs. The New Jersey Golf Foundation's key to success with player development revolves around three pillars. The first focuses on youth. I don't think anybody had any idea that we influence over 100,000 kids a year with golf in school. It's been through programs like Drive, Chip, and Putt and Junior League Golf that have enabled the kids to transition from golf in schools to the actual golf course, which is great to see. The Northwest team has a team. The last three years, we've seen an explosion in PGA Junior League Golf. In 2012, we had 12 teams, and I th believe this year we had 60. I'm number six, so number 23 after Michael Jordan. I, I just like the number 15. Junior League gives kids who are interested in golf the chance to do what kids who are interested in baseball do, like Little League teams and soccer teams. It's fun, and you get to play a scramble, so if you mess up a shot, your partner can come in and save you. <laughs> the second, special needs. What Special Olympics and Ls for Autism has allowed us to do is they've educated our PGA members so that they feel more comfortable dealing with the people with intellectual disabilities. We want to just be positive and be patient. That by far has been what has allowed us to expand at the rate that we've expanded. How you doing today? Very good. Good. You ready to hit some golf balls? Yes. It's been a breakthrough year. Els for Autism partnered with the foundation, choosing two Jersey sites to host clinics that were part of their pilot program called Game On. Hey, get up, get up! Whoa! How was that one, Jack, huh? Nice. And a new job placement initiative became a reality. We were happy to announce at our spring meeting <laughs> that uh, Chris Harold was going to be the first Special Olympics athlete in this pilot program, and he was hired at Pine Barrens Golf Club in Jackson, New Jersey as assistant outside operations manager. Hey, shot. Hey, Chris, how are you? Good, Bob. How about you? Morning. Chris is a gold medal winner from USA Games. So far, he's uh, about four or five months into his job and um, is looking to stay in the golf industry. Yeah, I love it. Beautiful day. Yes, it is. The section's final pillar Hands builds the upon the success way. of PGA Hope helping our patriots Good. everywhere. I came to the VA as a homeless veteran. I'm tired of being depressed and always looking over my shoulder. Hope to me is knowing that there is a future out there and a brighter future. You're not alone. Like you're not we offer a six-week instructional program, and we just try to teach them the basics. You know, keeping your body down. Watch the thumb in the pocket, right? Remember I said it's got to be in that pocket. Good. Now, I don't believe I'm even saying this stuff. I just learned this stuff today. The doctors have said to us, you know, it's really helping their treatment, which is, which is nice for us to hear, too. Gosh, these guys gave, you know, a big part of their lives to defend our country. And it's the least that we could do as PGA professionals to just give a little bit back and make them feel special. You're very, very good with keeping and staying down through the shot. That's a hard skill to teach someone to do. You got that. They said I was doing a real good job, and it felt good. As a New Jersey PGA golf professional, we just feel lucky. I think we like to share the game of golf, in particular with people that might not ordinarily have the opportunity. That's what our commitment rises out of. You're not alone.